The Terraria Calamity mod has tons of different weapons, but what if I told you that there's a way to get weapons that is really underused and I feel like people don't really think about this whenever they're playing the Calamity mod. Before we get started, make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe and let's go ahead and get into it. So the way of obtaining these weapons is actually through fishing, which I find that most people don't do in the Calamity mod. There is five weapons total and they all are fished up in different biomes and they're also fished up at different points in progression. The first one is called the Sparkling Empress and you can get this right after defeating Desert Scourge. You can fish this up within the Sunken Sea and it kind of acts as like a last prism but like not as good. This weapon is actually really good at taking out large groups of enemies so like for a goblin army or something similar this could be pretty useful but let's move on to the next weapon. The next weapon is the Dragoon Drizzlefish. This weapon can be fished up from the Brimstone Crags biome within the lava, so you need a fishing rod that can fish in lava. This weapon is a flamethrower and it has two different types of firing. One of them is more of a flame type of deal and it splits into three fireballs. The other one is a gravity affected fireball that lingers for a short time. So you kind of just alternate between shooting both of these different modes and you can get this pretty early. I mean, as soon as you get a lava fishing pole, you can go ahead and fish this up. And I think it's actually really good if you use it early. The next one we have is actually one that looks like a Duke Fishron weapon. It's called the Flood Tide. It launches mini shark like projectiles at your enemies. This one is actually a little bit weird on how to get it. You have to fish after Calamitas has been defeated and you also have to be under the effect of the gills buff. And that's why I think that this weapon's so like just underused or not even known about because I didn't even know this existed until doing this video. I don't think there's a lot of people out there that are fishing with a gills buff active. But let me know if you guys actually knew about this weapon because I for sure did not. Okay, so the next item is something that's quite hard to pronounce, but it is this Molus weapon and it's a rogue weapon that can be fished up within the Astral Infection. When used, it throws a snail that drops sparks from it as it travels. This weapon's really good for defeating like worm type bosses or anything that's a really big boss because if you throw it in like a straight line, a bunch of these little sparks will fall onto your target so for things like the Destroyer, this will do a lot of damage to it. And last but not least, we have the Polaris Parrotfish. This is a ranged weapon that can be fished up in the Astral Infection as well, and it fires lasers which will increase in power the more shots that you hit. After the first power boost, the lasers will split into smaller lasers. After the second boost, the lasers will start to home in on enemies and explode, and deal more damage. And that's really it for the fishing weapons. I just wanted to go ahead and showcase these weapons that most people probably won't know about, I imagine. I don't think fishing in the Calamity mod is a very common thing to do. So yeah, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.